Now, consumer debt has hit record levels in the United Kingdom, with many boring to cover just the basic necessity, necessities uh, like rent and utility bills. And new information has now come to light, revealing the problem affects far more people than previously thought. RT's Laura Smith reports. £1.43 trillion. Pounds. That's how much Britons officially owe on mortgages, credit cards and other personal debt. That sounds bad enough, on average £54,000 per household. But a new report suggests it's a gross underestimate. The real figure's around £5 billion pounds higher. Think tank Demos has rated different types of debt according to how much stress they cause and their legal consequences, something they're calling a harm index. And the £5 billion black hole contains some of the most harmful debt, unpaid rent and council tax and overdue gas and electricity bills. So what's being done to help? Well, at the moment, uh, lenders pay a levy to their regulator, which is then used to fund debt advice for consumers. Demos argues those that cause the most harm, like payday loan companies and doorstep lenders, should pay more. Salman Shaheen from Left Unity goes a step further. Austerity policies are pushing people further into debt than ever before. They're turning to payday lenders to make ends meet at the end of the month and are being forced to pay back extortionate rates of interest on this. Uh, this is the government's responsibility. It's directly responsible for pushing people into poverty. And uh, people just don't have enough money in their pockets to, to, to make ends meet. They don't have enough money to pay their rent. They don't have enough money to, uh, to pay the spiralling cost of um, gas and electricity. What the government really needs to do is it, it needs to bring energy companies back into public ownership so they're made to work for people, uh, for consumers. And uh, that's not what we have at the moment. What we have at the moment is energy companies creaming profits off the, the poorest and most vulnerable people in this country. In the meantime, households are struggling under the burden of high levels of debt, some of which is completely ignored in the official figures.